Hello everyone, time has come for me to make another weekly review. Uh, in this review we are going to check uh, how our trading plan from last Tuesday on the Canadian dollar Swiss franc worked out and uh, we are also going to check uh, how the two live trades I shared with you developed what were our mistakes on them and why our stop losses were hit on both of them. So without further ado, let's get to it. What you see on the screen now is uh, the trading plan I posted on TradingView based on the Canadian dollar Swiss franc. Now before I click this uh, play button and see how the plan uh, executed itself, I just want to say a few words about what the idea behind the plan was. First of all, we had a very old and uh, long uptrend on this pair, which reached uh, this monthly resistance area here. And as you can see on the H4 time frame, it bounced from that area and moved down to this level, which is the previous top made by the previous wave. My expectations were for the price to break this previous top and to move further down, reaching inside of this possible H4 stoppage area. So let's see how it developed. As you can see, uh, short after I posted the plan, uh, we saw a break of this uh, level. The price moved further down, but uh, the bulls weren't ready to uh, become bears. So um, they made one final push, uh, forming a new wave up, reaching back again to this monthly resistance area but at the same time uh, making a lower high which was a confirmation that uh, a new downtrend is being formed. As you can see after that we had a new strong wave down almost reaching to the uh, possible H4 stoppage area which was our primary target. We had a small bullish correction to that level and again, a wave down, which this time entered into the uh, H4 stoppage area. Now, based on this plan, I have posted uh, two live signals, uh, and we are going to uh, discuss each and every one of them. So I'm going to switch to the current um, CAT Swiss franc graph, uh, where I have already outlined the uh, entries and where our stop losses were set. Uh, we're going to start with our first entry here. It was uh, based on the H4 time frame. Um, you might ask why it is. It was so down. Uh, I entered here because uh, the price broke through that uh, previous stop on this candle. Unfortunately, I missed to. Um, enter here uh, but I have decided to enter somewhere here since we still had a lot of room down to our target zone and even if we saw a correction uh, from that point uh, I wouldn't expect it for it to break back above uh, this level. Unfortunately I was wrong uh, in just three candles uh, the price went uh, strongly up, reaching to our stop loss. Uh, the only thing we could have done here in order to protect our capital was to close the position on this candle after the price uh, retraced back above this level, which was the previous top here. Nevertheless, we continued to monitor the pair and uh, Soon enough, we had another chance for an entry, which I, again I posted. Uh, it was based on the M30 time frame, so I'm going to switch to that now. As you can see, uh, after that bullish run, the price made uh, a movement down and consolidated for a while, while here on this uh, level. This consolidation uh, formed a square formation and also this square formation was confirmed by the Bollinger Bands 
uh, which as you can see formed a very tight squeeze around the price. So on the M30, on this candle, we saw a break not only of the uh, square formation, but also of that squeeze of the Bollinger Bands. As you can see, uh, our stop loss, of course, was placed above that square formation, uh, since I didn't expect for the price to uh, reach back there again. I was more expecting just a um, new wave down. But as you can see, uh, after the entry, the price moved further down, then on this huge bullish candle, it retraced back inside of the square formation. And uh, you might not see it with the Bollinger Bands on, so I'm gonna turn them off. You can see it here. On this candle, we saw uh, a huge whip on top of the candle, which actually uh, just touched our stop loss. And it touched it by like around two to three pips. Just after that, the price exploded and uh, made a huge, huge downtrend, reaching all the way to our target zone. Unfortunately, in this case, uh, we couldn't do anything. Uh, we just got unlucky at this point. Um, the only things we could have done uh, in order to protect ourselves were for either to close part of the position on this uh, bullish candle, which uh, retraced the price back inside of the square formation, or to place our stop loss uh, higher, like around somewhere maybe above this. But um, I would like to say here that I didn't do that because in my opinion, if the price uh, have broken uh, the top of this square um, it was going to move further up probably reaching all the way to uh, the monthly resistance again so it wouldn't have mattered if our stop loss was here or here I believe it would have been hit so I prefer to place it down here that is it those were the two uh, live trades Luckily, I got uh, to finish the week on profit uh, because uh, of some other trades I took throughout the week. Uh, I will continue uh, sharing my trading plans with you and posting live signals based on them. I hope uh, we will be more profitable in the future. I wish everyone a good day. Thank you very much. And of course, I wish you a profitable week.